morning, everyone. Thanks so much for getting up and uh, uh, being out here to uh, listen to our small uh, presentation. My name is Jahan Chiu, and I'm the co-founder and managing partner of Kinetic. We are a blockchain platform, and I'm joined on stage by Robert Dykes uh, and David Wills, uh, who will introduce themselves as well. So really quick about Kinetic. Um, we are a blockchain platform. We are focused on four areas. Uh, and those areas are technology. We build applications and smart contracts and security audits. Uh, we also have an area focused on tokenization uh, and tokenization advisory. And I say tokenization advisory rather than ICO advisory because really what we're about uh, is trying to help early, middle, and increasingly late stage companies understand the full benefits and the full potential of tokenization full stop, because it doesn't begin and end with ICOs. It's really about the long game. It's about how we capture value from the overall ecosystem using tokenization and blockchain as a backbone. Next, we're focused on asset management. We're focused on the ability to help everybody in the community uh, manage their assets and also investing, investing in the community, investing in uh, funds, investing in tokens, and of course also investing in early stage companies through shares. Uh, and then finally, and I think this is the most important aspect of our platform, we're focused on community. We have a full vertical which is all focused on helping to spread blockchain, spread education of blockchain and awareness, and try to help the overall community understand again the potential uh, and the possibility of blockchain. Now, my background is that I came from uh, the, the community itself. I helped to start the Bitcoin Association of Hong Kong back in early 2014 with uh, seven other gentlemen. Uh, and I also started the Ethereum meetup uh, in Hong Kong in March of 2014. I also helped to start the Hyperledger meetup. So I'm very uh, committed over the course of my experience in blockchain to helping the community grow across the, across the board in terms of chains. Now, what that's led me to believe uh, is that the community doesn't only mean the spirit of decentralization uh, and the spirit uh, of the upstart that we came from. What I've come to understand is that institutionalization uh, is not a bad word. Now, there are downsides to this idea of institutionalization. It seems to go against the spirit of where we all came from. It seems to create power centers and centers of gravity uh, in terms of uh, you know, how the, the overall community is structured and it can even stifle or slow growth. I get all that. But I think as we've been able to build these businesses and, and grow the overall pie, what we've also seen is that institutionalization of crypto and, and the entire ecosystem has some benefits. It has benefits of volume and scale. If you have a party and you're the only one there, it's not really a party. It has the benefits uh, of being able to have greater stability. As we grow the overall platform, we can all benefit uh, by all of the types of functionality and all the types of, uh, uh, of capital that can come in. Uh, and then finally, it's about adoption. Now, anybody here who is involved in a startup uh, or who's investing in startups, you know that it's not just about the technology. Actually, the secret sauce is adoption. If you're able to kind of get people onto your platform, that often will help determine whether your platform or your uh, project will live or die. So, uh, when we're talking about adoption, we're really talking about the end game uh, of crypto, where we're not even talking about blockchain, we're not even talking about crypto. What we're really just talking about is life and business and society. And crypto and blockchain hums along very quietly, very efficiently in the background, and it's a seamless, invisible force that drives everything that we're doing. To me, that's the real kind of idea behind uh, and the real potential of this institutionalization. Now, to that end, at Kinetic, we're really happy to uh, be in a JV with Tora, which is a, a best-in-class financial technology uh, company, uh, 14 years old, uh, for our new project that we're announcing today called Caspian. So I'd like to turn it over to Robert Dykes, who is the CEO uh, of Tora and the CEO of Caspian, to tell us a little bit more about where we came from. Uh, thanks, Jan, for the warm introduction. I'm really excited to be here today to share our vision on how Tora can help institutionalize the crypto asset management space. For those of, for those of you who don't know who Tora is, we're a global provider of buy-side technology to hedge funds, which means we provide execution management systems, order management systems, systems ex, uh, portfolio management systems, risk systems, compliance analytics, essentially everything you need to run a hedge fund. We're about 250 people globally, most of which are engineers, and our clients trade over 150 markets every day. You know, I see a lot of things 
uh, that are happening in the crypto space today that are really similar to where Taurus started back in 2004 in Asia. At the time, hedge funds were starting to proliferate. Investors were starting to allocate into the region. Uh, but most of the hedge funds were still using spreadsheets and telephone to make and execute orders. And Tora really came in to provide an institutional layer for those hedge funds. So providing electronic trading capabilities, allowing hedge funds to manage risk better using risk systems, to look at their portfolios, to rebalance their portfolios, to attribute gains, losses to the different strategies. And I think that institutionalization of the hedge funds in the equity markets, equity derivative markets back in the early 2000s really catapulted the whole asset class and industry. And you know, fast forward to 2017 when I talk to our institutional clients today, half of them are trading crypto or in the process of looking at crypto as a new asset class to trade, which is part of the reason why we're so excited about this opportunity, why we've been working closely with Kinetics, forming this joint venture, and to launch Caspian. So yeah, thank you, Robert. Um, so let me just talk to you a little bit about the, the history of how Caspian came about. Uh, so my background was um, I ran trading for a, a, a large multi-strat hedge fund called Oxif. And uh, anyone who's been an institutional trader in this room will know that you, know, you sit in front of six screens, you've got a full trading um, technology stack in front of you, whether that's an execution management system, PMS, RMS, you've got you know, the, the ability to see multiple dashboards and charts, et cetera. And so coming into the crypto space, it became very clear that you know, everything was very fragmented, everything was very clunky. You know, the more traders that I spoke to, you know, the more I heard that people were using like Excel or Google Sheets with API links into multiple exchanges, and there was really no first class, first grade system uh, that a, an institution could really use to, to manage everything from front to back. So that's full trade lifecycle through to P&L monitoring, exposure tracking, performance attribution, compliance monitoring, etc. So when I thought about this problem, it was like, okay, do we start from scratch and try and build something which realistically is a 12 to 18 month pro project with lots of capital invested, with uncertain outcomes? Or do we partner with uh, you know, a, a company such as Tora, who I had a lot of respect for, who I'd used previously, and they have a great reputation in the market, really great team. And essentially, you know, fast forward um, the, the development of the system uh, to, to bolt on crypto as an asset class into a very well-developed system. So you know, we got talking uh, with Tora, and uh, it became very clear that there was a great culture fit and we shared a lot of the visions and values uh, about sort of, you know, what it makes to be a good company, the, the service for clients, um, and just general thoughts about the crypto space. So, we're, you know, when sizing up the opportunity, we thought, okay, well, what is the crypto landscape now? You know, I think at that point in time, this is around November last year, there was about 100 funds or so. Now I think there's about 226 uh, crypto funds and, you know, the, the, the there's surveys that suggest that existing institutions are looking at crypto trading, uh, bolting on crypto trading strategies to, to what they're currently doing. Um, and really, despite all the market volatility, we, we think that there's enormous growth potential in the space as um, you have more and more products uh, come into play. So thinking about the institutional participant challenges, what, what are they? They're, they're fragmented liquidity, it's 24 seven market, there's you know, multiple exchanges that it's very difficult to manage if, if you're a trader um, trying to get access to, to all of those exchanges, you know, security, et cetera. So building um, a, a system that essentially gives you a single interface with 24 seven customer support, a, fu a fully integrated portfolio management system, order and execution management system, risk management system for doing scenario analysis, stress testing, um, was really something that I think uh, a lot of institutional traders are really going to get um, you know, a lot of mileage out of because essentially I think if you are a sophisticated um, fund, you may have built uh, a part of that stack but you don't have all of that stack. So we're coming at it with um, you know, a, a system that's had been in development for about 14 years or so. As Robert mentioned, uh, there's about 190 developers um, and uh, I think our, our help desk is actually larger than most other development teams out there. 
So um, it's a very exciting project to be a part of, um, where you know we're essentially going to um, build a decentralized layer on top of um, Caspian as well. So it'll allow traders and developers to build applications uh, to share data, information, analytics. So really create value for, for other traders, which will all be powered by a utility token. Um, and, um, and ultimately, the, you know, the trading stack, um, uh, from day one, we're, we're already connected to 10 exchanges. Uh, in about four to six weeks, we'll be connected to 20 exchanges. And so the system will essentially be that single interface into all those exchanges and then provide uh, reports and analytics to all of the various stakeholders, um, be it institutional investors or fund administrators, um, internally your, your analysts and portfolio managers to generate all the analytics and reports that you ultimately need. Uh, just a quick um, wrap on the team. So we have Robert as our CEO. Uh, I'm COO. We're, we're fortunate enough to have Michael Lurch as our chairman, who, who was the founder of Evolution Capital Management and has been in the space for a number of years. We have Jahan as our chief strategy officer. Uh, Garrett is our chief technology officer and Paul is our, our CFO. Um, here's just a couple of screenshots, but for anyone that would like more information about the system, we have a booth outside. Uh, we'd love to um, welcome you and meet you and uh, give you demos. Uh, we also have a website, caspian.tech, uh, where you can sign up to our mailing list for, for any further information. Um, and we'd love to join you as part of the community. Thanks, David. So the only thing that I would add to that is, you know, I'm not a trader myself. Uh, I don't really come from the trading space, and so I, it was a really big learning curve for me to understand what this whole world actually is about. Uh, but when I got there, I really understood that the long-term game of this is actually not just about utility tokens. It's not just about trading Bitcoin and Ether, uh, payment currencies, etc. It's about the entire universe of value being traded in the form of tokens. Uh, what we're starting to see now are really amazing projects like CryptoKitties and Ethereum uh, and the whole universe uh, of assets that are being developed on top of platforms like Decentraland. Things that are very much at the core of our community uh, and of the blockchain community, which will all be able to be traded through this platform. The long-term roadmap of Caspian is one which involves uh, the, uh, the retail community as well. So shifting not just from the institutional players, the hedge funds, but actually to everyday uh, retail traders who will be trading value in the way that they trade uh, crypto now. So that's a really exciting uh, kind of proposition for us. Uh, and I think just to kind of finish up, because uh, I think we're, we're just about to be running out of time, uh, the only thing that I would, I would add to all of this uh, is really nothing to do with Caspian, nothing to do with Kinetic. It's really just uh, something that I want to leave everybody in the community with. We're at a really important inflection point of the community. The market's up, the market's down, but right now the whole world is watching what we do. Uh, and I think it's a testament to everybody in this room, whether you're a startup, whether you're an investor, whether you're media or writing, or whether you're from you know, the, the, the quote-unquote institutional space coming in you know, for the first time and trying to understand what this whole world is about. Everything that we're doing at this moment has the potential to be the most important thing that you do. We are shaping the entire landscape of how this world of value unfolds, how this world of technology unfolds. Uh, and the only message that I wanna, wanna leave you with is just keep working at it, just keep fighting that good fight uh, because I think that you know, this will be all of our legacy and, and I really just hope to, to kind of leave everyone with that message. So thank you very much. If you have any other further questions, please find us at the Caspian booth. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, David. Thank you, Thank, Thank you, everybody. <laughs>